and we back. We are. I got my boys with me. J Dub, DC. What's up? We in the building. Rate debate is back. We love doing this. Y'all love watching this. We about to jump into it. Y'all see what I got right here? Fresh off the boat. Got my blade coughing. You hear? Ring a ding ding. Hey, it's who's calling? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, y'all hey, wanna just call? Hey, we at heavy hitters right now. We at heavy hitters right now. Somebody call, be like, you know how some of them guys, they, 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 they say their name. Some people do that. Yeah. They'll be like, Mark Daniels. Uh-huh. Just to let you know who it is. Ring. Ring. Um, Kami Lake speaking. I'm looking for Trashy McNasty. <laughs> hey, I'm looking for Trashy McNasty. You got him. <laughs> trashy McNasty. <laughs> listen, Caney Lake. That's a whole nother. Listen, we don't rape the bait, bro. Caney Lake. Me and you going to have words. <laughs> Caney Lake. Jay yeah. don't like Caney Lake. I don't like Katie. Man, Katie's yeah. pretty. Hey, Katie's pretty legit. Anyway. Katie, Katie. It can get tough. It can be a toughie. What? It can be unbelievably tough, but it's, what? it is it is still my top five fast lakes in the country. Well, good for you, Jacob. <laughs> I just, I mean, good, for big ones. Good, for big ones. Good for Jacob. I'm just saying. I'm sorry. Until he has a toughie, then okay. oh, it's it's still, it's, Regardless if I catch one anytime, you know, here from here on out, it's still his top five. Top five? Golly. For man. big ones, yeah. yeah. All right. Well, All right, here we go. Spinner baits. Spinner baits. <laughs> Rate the bait. So check it out. This is what I did. Just like with the jigs we did on the last episode. The, the options are endless. So we keeping this very basic and simplistic. Bro, what are you doing? You eating peanut butter, bro? Oh, off a spoon. You was just eating some chips. Yeah, I got, you got chips? some ras, bro. What are you I got doing? raspberries, too. So oh, is, there a re- is there a method? Right. This you got jalapeno chips. Protein, carbs, fruit. We ain't gonna never get ready to bake. Okay, it. go okay. ahead. We, 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 we do it. We do it. We do it. I'll just focus on you. You just don't focus on DC. We'll make, right. it, we'll make it happen. Y'all don't look at DC, bro. Yeah. He's always doing something. All right, so look, we're gonna keep it simplistic. Tandem willow leaf spinner baits. I'm gonna say from a quarter ounce to a one ounce, right? It's a double willow. Du- gotta be a double willow. Okay. Because we'll get into the other blade options in time, right? Yeah, absolutely. So, shad spawns happening right now a lot, around a lot of country. Absolutely, it is. One of the better baits during shad spawn. Absolutely. It gotta really be a spinnerbait. So, that's what we're doing. We're gonna kick it off. I got four spinnerbait brands. I'll list them off to you guys real quick, and I'm gonna let J Dub kick us off. So, right here we have a War Eagle. Ooh, War Eagle. Very popular. Okay. We have a Booyah Culver series. Oh, okay. Pretty dang on popular. We got a Santone spinnerbait. Not terribly popular, but a good good product. And then last but not least, we got an Accent. Pretty popular. Sponsor J-Dubs. Yeah. We got it. So I'm going to go ahead and kick him off with the Accent, and I'm going to let my boy J-Dub kick, kick off the rating because he knows a lot about this bait. Here you go, my man. All right, so I'm going to be straight up with you guys. This one right here is actually a 3 8 accent. This spinnerbait is called a River Special. And, and so the key is the blade. So when you want less vibration, yep. this blade, it's um, ultimately, it's not like a smooth see blade. If you can see it, it's like more of like a um, stamped blade almost. Yeah. yeah. Um, has some tapering in it. And, and so that adds extra flash because there's some tapering in it. Yep. In addition to that, it actually has less vibration. Really? Really? So you don't have nearly... So if you want a spinnerbait blade that you're not... You're, it's, it's flashing, but it's not... Dun, 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 dun. Right. right. That right there is the perfect blade combination. Okay. So cleaner water for the fall, you're trying to do smaller... Got to okay. Did you hear that? It's I, did I? <laughs> <laughs> Hell a lot. Of did you hear that? <laughs> yeah, I'm <laughs> right, because I about got up out of here. <laughs> so, so this is called a fluted blade. A fluted, a fluted blade. blade. Uh, so this is a three eighths. I don't throw a three eighths that much, personally. Me, man. I throw a half or or bigger, typically yeah. half or bigger. And I just what I personally I feel like a trailer on it. The hook. The three eighths on the hook, uh, is, it's more of a finesse spinnerbait. This one in particular, mm-hmm. the hook is smaller, so it's so it's you know you can put a smaller trailer on there. Um, the only thing I will say, I'm gonna not, I'm gonna knock the river special because he doesn't have 
a trailer keeper. Hook you. Yeah, a trailer keeper. Yep. Like, you know, a trailer, so keep your trailers on there. So that that's one negative. The quality of the swivels are, are great. The quality of the blades are good. He is not a hand-tied skirt, but they do have some really good quality skirts that are unique and custom to, to Accent. So that's that's cool as well. So I'm going to give the River Special from Accent, I'm going to give him a... I'm going to give him a 7.5 because I really think he's a great spinnerbait. He has his time and place. Okay. And But it's not all the time. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. But overall quality spinnerbait has some really good 3D eyes. And that's what you get. That's, that's, what I, I mean, I'm ready, I'm, that's my rating. 7.5. That's a very good rating. Unbiased. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to rate this bait. Uh, you covered several, several ideas. I will say this. Does it matter about the weight of this, or are we just talking about this bait in general? Did, no, it don't matter. Bait. So, like, the range is three eighths to, I, okay. I just threw out one ounce. So, the most say. common are going to probably be three eighths, half, half ounce. A half, is probably the half is probably the. He the touched most. on a three eighths a while ago. I never throw a three eighths. Number one, it's hard to throw. Number two, it tends to roll. You can't really. It doesn't track. It doesn't true. track yeah. air straight. Mm -hmm. It tends to roll. If you go a little too fast, it starts turning sideways. Dude, it's mods. It's it's dude, it's out there. Out. What are they rain for? It's time here. Oh, <laughs> Take a little time. Getting busy. All right, so that, that's a three eighths anyway. So if it was a half, yeah. it'd be a little bit bigger. hundred percent. This, yeah. this bait in particular. Yeah, I like this bait. Um, I've actually caught some bass on this bait. It's got really good quality snaps on it. That's another thing. I'm gonna tell you something about an accent though. The wire size on these baits are typically a little bit smaller from what I've seen. Have yes. you noticed that? Oh, 100%. All right, they're a little bit smaller. That's the biggest thing. I didn't okay. know that. This is a good thing, and it's also a bad thing. Correct. Yes. A good thing is you got a lot of vibration. You can feel that through the line. Okay, so if you see that, you, you're gonna feel that vibration and it feels really good. The bad thing, you can't catch 40 or 50 fish on this. No. You can catch like four, five, five seven, to, eight. Five to ten. Until that sucker nine. gets straightened out like that. But, you know, it is what it is. I I like the bait. Uh, good color combination. I'm going to give it. Uh, I'm gonna, I, I like his eyeballs. Eyeballs stay, <laughs> is, they stay in. He's got big I like, eyeballs. I like his eyeballs. <laughs> yeah, I like his eyeballs. He's cute. <laughs> yeah. Six point five. Six point five. Six point five. Wow. Okay. Six point yeah. five. A little low. He, he's trying to hey, listen. He's hard on. He hard on. He's got to no, be hard no, on. He's got to be hard on some of I'm gonna give him a seven. A seven. A Six good solid. Five, seven. Okay. Seven. So above average. Above average. Yeah. Seven. Seven solid. Seven solid. Seven's good. All right. So <clears throat> let me let me touch on the accent. So obviously, accent's a sponsor of J Dubs. Mm -hmm. J Dubs, my boy. I may or may not have snuck in his box a couple times. And stole a couple accents. Hey, right. can I, stuff happens. Can I mention something? Let me hear you. That's the river yeah. special. River yeah. special. Yeah. That old big. Yeah. Yeah, he good. Oh, that one ounce one. That one ounce. But see, he's not a double. He's not a tandem. He's, willow. he's a double. He's a willow collar. Yeah, he's a willow see, that's Colorado. A, that's another race. Me and bait. you, if y'all look and back I, at his channel a while back, we went down smash. to Florida. Smash. Mash. And left your boy at the house. God. God. Got to mind. Y'all right. right. fixed a little team dirt. I didn't want to jump in that with y'all. That was. Well, I caught him on that spinner, but I caught like an eight and seven. Y'all smack. Y'all had three for like. I caught bigger ones that day than you too. <laughs> <laughs> that day too. It's unbelievable. It's back to back to back. All right, so we just got done at Caney. I knocked him out by one ounce. We still got another day though. Oh, they do that every day. Redemption coming. Hey, the then we went road. to a lake today, and I busted a six pounder. Man. Oh, we came over. We bushed a little like that, five right? pounder. I said, man, I got big bass. DC hey, course. and guess what? Your boy zeroed on Canyon today. My new favorite lake. Edit that out. We can't even talk about that. No, we can't. That's some BS. But anyway, back Meanwhile, to this go bait, ahead, man. So I just stole a few of these from my boy J Dub. And low key fell in love with this spinner bait. I ain't gonna lie. Shout out to uh, Brett over there at Accent too, because he's he sent me a couple um, in this in this color option right here that I really like. But <clears throat> what I love about this bait, you touched on DC, is the wire size. That is so critical with a spinner bait because that's where all your vibration comes from. And in my mind, the better the vibration, 
the more bites you're just going to get. Mm -hmm. Now, right. yeah, you're going to run through a few of these. That is one of the things I'm going to knock on them. It's, it's a gift and a curse. So you got better vibration, but you catch five bass, you need to tie another one on. Because number six, five pounder, ain't no telling what might happen, but you're going to get the bite. And that's what's key with the wire. They got a good color selection, a lot of different options out there. Um, and they got good components. And like Dustin said, I love a spinnerbait. With, I, I don't like spinnerbaits that don't have eyes. That, that bothers me. I don't know. Some people like them. I don't know. He's got big eyes. He got eyes. He got good eyes. He got good components. I really like an accent spinner about throwing him quite a bit. Um, man, I'm going to give him like a 7.8. Oh, wow. He's definitely above average. This is usually one of the first ones I'm going to tie on. <coughs> he, he is very unique in that. He's almost like a balsa plug. Like but a balsa pick. plug versus a, yeah, versus a you know plastic crate bait. Yes. It's the same as a light wire spinner like the Accent versus a thicker gauge wire. You're not going to get as much out of him, but that quality. sucker just bit, man. It does. It does. It does. I, I, that's a good, that's a good bite. Straight up. I, I, I ain't hold Straight back no punch, it man. Is. He, he it gets is. bit, man. All right. Uh, DC, kick kick one off for your boy, man. Give him this one. Yeah, yeah. He knows. Yeah, yeah. Give him now. Give him, oh, he's going to hand me that. Yeah. Well, you know something about him. Oh, <laughs> speaking of that, where'd you get this? Huh? Where did you get this? Out of your box. I stole that yeah, out of your way. <laughs> no, I got every day up. I knew he did. And I asked him for one of these the other day. He didn't give him one. Yeah, because I have one. I don't need it. Hey, look, you got good friends. <laughs> Come out of this. No. Can I lie this? <laughs> Damn. <clears throat> and jalapenos ain't no joke. They spicy, boy. Got to mighty. All right, guys. Let's get back business. War Eagle. All right. This is a mouse colored spinnerbait from War Eagle. And it's a three-quarter, um, it's a tied skirt. I love it. I feel like the skirt needs to be a little tad bit thicker on these. I've always kind of wanted that. It's kind of real thin. I love the hook. That's kind of an O'Shaughnessy style hook. Yeah. See that? I love that. <clears throat> I love the hook. It's got a really good keeper. I'm going to say this about War Eagle. To me, for me, this is the staple. Mm -hmm. Like, this is what... I've always thrown forever. Yep. I've always thrown. I've thrown this color. I've caught giant spotted bass on that color. I love the, the, the head on it. I love the blades. They have a big color selection. It is. Um, this is just a staple for me. And I catch a ton of fish. It's got a lot heavier wire on it. And this is my go-to for me. Yeah. Um, I, I'm <coughs> Maybe I'm a little biased. I'm going to say a 9 out of 10. Damn. It's hard. It, you it's, love it. He's a good bait. Yeah. The, the downside, number number two, who makes this? War Eagle. Well, War Eagle was bought out by Pure Fishing, right? Oh, I don't know. Or Pradco. Oh, yeah, Pradco. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh, it got bought out by Pradco. Oh, it's a Pradco. I will say this. They changed this bait. They changed it. If you ever see a bait that has the weight that runs down the shaft, I don't like that. You can't put no baits on there. I, I like running a trailer on there. And anytime you have that that, that goes on there, like they have changed it now, mm -hmm. they went to a smaller head. It's funny how you see that stuff happening because they cut the cost. Mm -hmm. They cut the cost. It's a lot about easier to, to make. Absolutely. It's smaller and compact. Nine out of ten. There we go. I'm going to quit talking y'all to death. That thing's legit. <clears throat> ain't so got no eyeballs, though. So, so, Morial is... You know, as far as across the counter, this is, is, is custom. What they did a good job of is they made a custom spinner bait that was not, that you can get in so many different places. They did a great yeah. job. Yeah. And that and that's what, I mean, like when you start, when you see a warrior on Walmart, you're like, dang, you know. Yep. It's, it's really impressive what they did. And they, and they did really, in my mind, they are the staple. They're the first to. Uh, you know, to sort of like start it all, you know what I'm saying? Sort of like maybe a bass tricks to the you know, Ohio Valley swim baits yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. War Eagle is the same in, in the spinnerbait world. I feel like they really sort of established what the line was. Yeah. <clears throat> um, I, I like it. It's not it. It's not as thick of a. It's not as. It's a lot thicker of a wire, like DC said. Yep. The blades are they're solid. Um, never really had it. I do. I do like that O'Shaughnessy bend. I do. Um. I, I, mean, I don't throw him that much, to be honest. Yeah. And, and so for me, I'm going to give him, I still think he's a really good spinnerbait. I, I still think he's one of the best made out there on the market. 
I so I'm gonna give him. I'm gonna give him a seven point. I'm gonna give him seven point eight. Seven point eight. He's really. Yeah, he's, a, he's a really good spinner bait. Yeah. I just, you know, overall, I, the, the the reason it gives, I'm giving him a little bit more is the, is the wire tied skirt. Yeah. Wire tied. That's unique. A lot of companies don't have that. Yep. He is thinner, but if you put a if you put a trailer on him, yep. He's he you know he's pretty full then. Yeah. So that's that's really what I do. I put a trailer on him, and then it doesn't it doesn't look as bad. You know what I love about a wire tie skirt or a hand tie skirt? Everybody's like acting like that's like a big big deal. Oh, hand tie skirt, like it makes it bait run better and all that. I just simply like the way it looks. I do too. Yeah, and clear. it does not go away. That skirt will stay on there forever. Yeah. It, well, the, the, the rubber band on a lot of them skirts on the spinnerbait is so much. It, it will corrode, not exactly. corrode, but it'll get yeah. dry rotted. Yes. yes. And then it falls apart. Yes. Yep. And then it's like, oh man, I might as well throw that spinner bait away. Yep. Anyway, oh, yeah, might as well. The you only thing, yeah. the other thing is, is like, they don't, if you're not, if it's wire tied, it doesn't get uneven. 100%. See, once it's locked in, it's not, it's he's sort of staying. Yeah. Yeah. He, yeah. He, he, but he's, he's symmetrical. And, yeah. All right. So the War Eagle, I'm going I'm to throw my two cents in on it. I think he's a little, like DC said, he's a little bit thin. I guess I'm, I'll, I'll hit the knocks on him really quick, That, in my opinion. The he's skirt's a little thin, a little thin yep. for me, but, um, you know, but he's definitely enough, right? He don't have eyeballs, man. I like, I, I, I don't, I'm just trippy about that. I like eyeballs on my spinnerbaits. Um, he don't got eyeballs, but he does have good components, which is, which is very important in a spinnerbait. He's a little bit thicker gauge wire, okay? Now, with that being said, He's a very well-built spinnerbait. Um, comes with a good hook. Everybody touched on that. The O'Shaughnessy Bend. That's a very popular style hook that I feel, and I know they feel as well, the hookup and landing ratio with this style of a hook is really, really good. Oh, it's good. <clears throat> um, yeah, man. I, That's I, Amar's favorite hook, too. That was always Amar's is. favorite. Shout out Amar. Shout out to Amar. Amar. No doubt, dog. Uh, that's what I always remember we, we, from Amar. We, we miss he our was dog. Huge. Shaughnessy. Always hey. big on the heat. Shaughnessy. We miss our dog, man, do, out man. here, man. Legend. Damn, dog. You just messed me up with that. Sorry, Richard. Yeah, bro. I know. Um, Dang. I had to shout him out. Yeah, man. I'm sure he know a little something about these. Yeah, man. Um, War Eagle, man. I'm going to give him... He, he's a great spinner rate. He's very accessible. You can catch him at any of your tackle retailers. And that's hugely important as well. And then they got a good color selection. So I got to get a War Eagle. He's not my go-to. He's not. But I do, I, I have thrown him and I have caught bass on him. I'm going to give him a, a 7 for me. So he's above average. He's not great. Wow. He's not, he, he is to me what, he is to Dustin what the accent is to me. That so that's usually well, the one that I'm going to talk. over here. But, that, that, but, I, but he I, will I, catch I, them, though. I had to change mine to a seven as well just because I thought about it. I'm like, I have not thrown it for so many years. I just gave him a little bit more because of being the OG. I'm, I'm giving him a seven. Seven. So seven, you know, what'd you start at? I think it's 7.8. 7.8. 7. Hey, oh, you did not. My boy, down. Well, I was just like, I just. You feel, just not the war angle back down? <laughs> you well, know, you got to think about, like, in the. Like, I just feel like Bro. he's good, but he's right. I mean, I think it's a 7. Like, I don't. I don't. He's I, I can name I can, <laughs> I can, look, I can name a one. I love y'all. They some guys behind the camera right now <laughs> that are laughing and they're shaking their hand. Ain't no way, boy. Hey. Comment below. Let, hey, let, me tell you, let me tell you something. Should he that, have downgraded hold on. this? Let me tell you something that factors into this too, though. Okay. Dustin, why you feel the way you feel, and me and Jacob probably don't. Right. You are a premier spotted bass fisherman. Hundred okay? percent. Okay. That this is not a large mouth bait. Okay. <laughs> that ain't. This yeah. spinner the hook is not caters, big enough for a large mouth This spinner bait no. caters to. It's the spotted spot bass fishing. Yeah, and then they even came out with a version of this, the Screaming Eagle, that was even more specific to the spotted bass fishing. Logan Martin special. That's why you love, yep. bro. Yep. And that's why me and J Dub is a little detached. Well, Agreed. I mean, I've not caught. Yeah. I'm not caught. The reason I said that was because I've not caught a bass on, on a war eagle in probably like eight years. Yeah, yeah. I said, you know, okay. so, it's, so that was my only thing. Was like, I really yeah, don't yeah. throw it that much. I just, yeah. I, 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 just, I can see that. Out sure. of just what it's done in the yeah. industry, I look at it like tournament wins and stuff like that. That's why I yes. give it. Yes, he is a great bait though. Yeah, yeah he is. Fun. I just personally, it's not my bad choice. Also. Exactly. Yeah. Straight up. All right, so we moving along. Sorry. That was, so y'all both kicked off one, right? We kicked off one. All right, my turn to kick one yep. off? Kick All right, one off. I'm going to kick one off. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and kick this off. What you laughing at? 
Uh-huh. <laughs> this guy. But, hey, go ahead. Something wrong with DC if y'all ain't figured that hey, out. Really? I'm laughing because you picked that up. And the first thing you seen was them eyes. I've seen them eyes. Because that's what I'm about. And I've seen this weird head that's like sideways <laughs> and the skirt on it. I, I don't know about it. Okay. I haven't thrown that bait much. Okay, Talk to listen. me about it. I ain't going to lie to y'all. So this is, shout out Jason Christie. He designed this bait. This is the Colvert series by Booyah. Um, this is a bad boy right here. And I'm going to tell you right now, I haven't thrown, I haven't spent a ton of time, but I spent enough time to know out the pack, over the counter, I don't got to tweak it, nothing like that. A well-built bait that just flat out catches them, this is your guy. Now, he doesn't have a hand tie skirt, he has a silicone skirt with a rubber band. Okay, I'm sure that's a cost thing. But he does have a great little bait keeper right here. So this bait is designed to have a swim bait or some form of a trailer behind it. And so they thought about that, got a good hook keeper. Hildebrandt blades on here, which if you know anything about spinner baits, hey, they're kind of like the real OGs of the spinner bait. The game. premier, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I don't want to go too deep in depth because I'm gonna let these boys talk too. But out the pack, just grab and go. Bad boy. I'm gonna give him. Ooh, at least a 7.5, man. Him and him and the act. See, now that I started throwing these. Him in an accent, they starting to get a lot of play. He's a 7.8, 7.9, his dang self. Mm -hmm. I like him. J Dub. All right, keep it straight. They did a great job with this bait. Quality, quality craftsmanship with the blades. The hook is premier as well. The, I, I mean, I'm gonna be straight up with you. This bait is <clears throat> it's a very good spinner bait. Really, really good. Again, not hand tied. The one thing I'm going to knock them is they don't have a lot of color selections. Yes. There's very few color selections. You only have a handful. So, that being said, that's I'm going to knock them a few, but I'm giving them a little bit. I'm going to give them a half point extra just because of the of a solid uh, bait keeper because you didn't see that on the last few. Yeah. And, and that's something that does, you know, there's a little bit to it. And it is solid. It locks it in place pretty well. Yeah. It doesn't tear up your, your deal. Um, the design of the head is unique. It's goofy, but it does help keep that weight down to keep your bait trapped. So yes. that, that's really cool too. So yes. I mean honestly I'm gonna give that I'm gonna really gonna give that spinner bait eight. Yeah. I think you did a great job. I think it's it's uh, it's impressive. I don't again I don't throw this bait that much, but just throwing it whenever I have, it was very impressive. I thought you did a good job. Yeah. Alright here we go. Um I like this bait. This is a good bait. I've I've actually caught some on it. It's a good bait. <clears throat> um I do think that it looks kind of goofy on the head. Um, I know that the, the weight at the bottom of it, like y'all said, helps the track. Yeah. Um, I like that. I think they could have done a better job with the skirts and the collar. Yeah. Because I've had it to where, like, I honestly could grab, I don't want to mess it up, but I can pull that off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, yeah, they, yeah, yeah, they yeah. should have done a little bit better with that collar right there. Wire, awesome. Love the wire. It's very wire similar like wire cool. wire to a war eagle. It's actually thicker than a wire. Than yeah, a it's almost got that it's Terminator. Like got more, more, it's more titanium. A yeah, titanium. it's like a more of a titanium kind of wire. It's more vibe, awesome. though. I feel like it does. It's almost like a titanium yeah, he's like wire. Yeah. And they've got good uh, good blade selections. We haven't really talked about blades a lot. Yeah. Um. See, this is a four and a half and a four and a half right here. All right. So I throw a spinner bait a ton, especially at night. And there are situations where blade, you know, combinations are a huge deal. Oh, absolutely. You can't just throw two willow blades or one Colorado. And that's just another subject, another video. But um, I'm going to rate this bait. And just for the fact that the skirt selection is not that great, yeah. I'm going to give him a, I'm going to give him an eight. I'm going to give him an eight. The main reason this bait was designed by Jason. Yeah. I, I feel like he did he did a good yeah. job. Yeah. It, it looks kind of goofy. I ain't gonna it lie. does, but it's functional. That sucker. I wish they had a better transition from the body to the skirt. If that skirt was puffier a little yeah, bit more. Like, yeah, I, I don't know. It, but just, when you put a trailer on it, actually so, does. So, something nice. I want to bring up too real quick. We can touch on this just real briefly. Hold that bait up, and then I'm going to hold this one up. What's y'all thoughts and how y'all feel about the staggered skirts like that? Let me see what you're talking see, about. See, see how yeah, like, it's like boom, boom, like yeah, like section. most of the skirt is up, and then you got a little bit extra dangling low. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. This bait right here, compared to that bait, that skirt looks like something from the thrift store. <laughs> 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 I mean, straight up out of the Hannah home. That right there looks like it was professionally. <laughs> <laughs> it's <a Hannah> home. <laughs> <laughs> it does. 
does. It does. Yeah, it, but it was used. It I was, mean, uh, I've been in a lot of thrift stores, and I've seen a lot of baits like that. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't playing, boys. That thing looks rough. Oh, the God. skirt's all shallow back here. I mean, hey, he it's all them, I bro. can do anyway. Hey, he catch them. Hey, no, that's good. He catch them, bro. All right, we got one more. We out of here, folks. All right, last but not least, a little bit of a smaller company, and and, and, and I like shouting out smaller companies too sometimes, but they make a great bait, and they're pretty accessible. Yeah. Um, no, J.W., you kicked that one off. I kicked the last one off. Because it's a sandstone spinnerbait. Is it sandstone or sandstone? Sandstone. 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 Yeah. Sand, I'm just not going to own it, to be honest, but... <laughs> I'm gonna be, so I'm, I'm just looking at it just for what it is. Half ounce. Looks half like. ounce. Yep. Um, it's like two, four and a half. Uh, is that five? Maybe, maybe a five and a four and a half. I think it's a five and a four and a half. Yeah. Yeah. So good amount of thump. <clears throat> First thought on this, the hook's too small. Is my my only thing there. The hook's too small for the bait. I feel that way. If you're trying to get downsize, I guess it's fine. It's a little small. Um, chartreuse, white, standard quality. The blade's good. I, Skirt material, solid, but not like extremely like high end. Yeah. But it is full. Uh, yeah, I'm going to give this bait a 6.5. It's above average in the marketplace for sure. Yeah. Just I haven't fished it, but I think it, the hook is a little small overall, like for like a large mouth fishing. But yeah, overall, that's what my guess 6.5. 6.5. That's my, that's my, that's my rating. All right, I'm going to give this guy. I've actually thrown this bait a couple times. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and throw out a rating on it. I'm going to say a, a six. Uh, I'm going to give him a, a six. The main, One of the main reasons for the six is he's got this rubber band on here, and I've actually had this happen in my tackle box. Oh. That rubber band is not that tight. I can literally spin him right now. Like, look at this. Uh -huh. Like, I can just... Uh -huh. You see it? You saw it? Uh, I mean, like... like he literally, oh yeah, he wanted to come he off. He wanted to come Ooh. off right now. Well, yeah. I, I gotta change my rating again. <laughs> that is six. Like, he's he coming off right he now. I ain't even Dang. Right. Okay. So, anyway, that's gonna come off. Number two. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, I'm just straight. Hey, well, I mean, no, he's he keeping it a brick. All right, so I'm keeping it a brick. That's why we're here. Was that a, is Another that, thing. Is that a. All right, see the distance. Hundo. See the distance between. The blades and the hook. Yeah. I ain't got a lot of bite. Yeah, yeah. You see my bite? I ain't got a lot of bite right through there. Yeah. So whenever, I mean, you, we've all had it happen when they come up and just knock slack in a spinner, but they don't get it. Yeah. I ain't got a lot of bite right through there. I need some bite. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So, I, I mean, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to re-lower mine. I'm going to re-lower mine. <laughs> I give it a six. Mine. I'm going to say a 4.3. Damn. Below. 3.6. 3.6. <laughs> hey, which, uh, which one is it? 3.6? No, 4.5. 4.5. 4.5. Hey, that's right. below average. It Five, is below five, average. Five, they five. need to fix that skirt on there, man. The if, you, if I pay seven dollars for a bait, $80. you know how much skirts are? are they? I'm gonna find out what they cost. You know how much skirts are? You can get a pack of fifty skirts. Yeah. For not much. A <laughs> lot. Yeah. So that they need to just tighten them up. That skirt is trashy. <laughs> Make nasty. <Make> nasty. <laughs> That's why I get a four point five. All right, let me let me let me let me go ahead and bust off a, a rating on this guy here, the San Tom. I actually like my man, bro. Um, the blade selection on this particular one, I really like. This is this will be a great one for a Shaswan. Lots of flash with these two larger blades. Um, the 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 wire. Is a, is a little bit on the thin side, like the accent, so you're going to get some good vibration out of him. I got to agree with Jacob. He does have a little bit of a small hook, and I'm, I'm not too happy with that bait keeper right there. That's really? Like, I'm not. No, I like the, I like the, I'm a fan of the wire ones. They just seem to hold a swim bait or a I feel like that one actually holds it better. I like that. I, 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 like, the wire. I like the wire better. That wire seems like it cuts the plastic. It cuts your plastic more. You know, I don't know plastic you lose, lose them. Uh, uh, I can't oh, go too deep in that. Uh, oh. Don't dive too deep. Hey, I can't go too deep, no. But anyway, and the hook's a little small, but they got great components. I, I can't hate on the San Antonio, man. Um, but I can't. Oh, he got eyeballs. So he already caught my attention. He got eyes. Got I got to have him eyes, bro. He got good eyes, too. Yeah, go ahead. Um, 
I gotta give him a 6.5 on the Santone. This this particular one came out of my box, so I have this in my blade coffin. I throw him from time to time. Like I said, shad spawn's happening right now. This would be a good one with the flash. I better be dirty water though. What y'all eating over here, man? Raspberry. Yellow on my bag. That's hey, what I'm it yeah, better, it better be dirty water because those blades, that blade combination is way too big. Yeah, it's got to be overpower dirty water. Hey, you, know, you know where I bought these out? That actually overpowers that baby. Let me tell you, let me tell you where I bought these. Okay. Grand Lake. Yeah. I bought these out. Dirty Grand water. Lake. That dirty water, that'd be a good dirty water. Yep. Don't throw that spearmate in shaft spot if you're in clean water. <laughs> you're catch nothing. You're catch nothing. Well, you start to white, so that's already bad. Hey, I'll say this before we get done. What would you rate him? I gave him a 6.5. 6.5. Yeah. So what did you so rate him? You gave him a 4.3. 4.5. Oh, 4.3. 4.3. Now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> when, he, when he starts sagging right, a little look, bit, you brought I'll, him down. I'll say bit. this, and this is on a real note. Like, no jokes aside. All jokes aside. The biggest thing about a spinnerbait is, is the water color. Mm -hmm. The number one thing about a spinnerbait is water color. You don't know why. I'm going to say this. I sometimes feel like these fish have now had generations of offspring and and, and, and and fry, and now they have got so conditioned to a spinnerbait, you can't hardly get a bite on that sucker no more. Yeah, yeah. If it ain't chocolate milk mud, I ain't throwing it. Yeah, he's hard to get bit. You know those days, like a classic patterns, you had in videos, you see it on TV, and then, you know, them boys is burning spinnerbaits, and, like in the fall. i like, dude, I did that, and you can't catch nothing with peckerheads. Like, yeah. that, a spinnerbait's a big fish bait. It is. And it, they see it so much now. If it ain't got no dinge, you ain't getting a bite. Yeah, he's and definitely it's been forgotten. He's definitely it's not a clear water bait. bait. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, if everybody's so hung up on chowder baits. It's I don't know if it's if they see it so much. I just think they just. That's why. That's why little things like a fluted blade right. and clear water and wire at, diameter and wire diameter give me a little more vibration because like I mean, listen like they have like there's more pulse. There's yes. more action. Yes. Yeah. It's the same thing. Okay, like, this you got to understand. Like, throwing an Alabama rig, right? I got Alabama rigs at the house. <clears throat> the ones I like the most are, are the thinner wire because they pulse more. Yep. There's more action. More, yeah, more natural. Know, yeah, I get more bites on that. Yep. So right. it's, it's similar to that, but it's like less vibrant. You know, there's a lot to that. So I mean, Those like, spinner baits. A spinner bait is a problem solver for me. You don't know why? Um... Perfect example. I was fishing that tournament on Alabama River. Yeah. That opened a long, long time ago. The one you And won. I was catching a little swim bait. That water muddied up overnight. Mm -hmm. So th th that spinner bait bridges the gap between a crank bait. I couldn't throw a crank bait. Right. Because they wasn't on the bottom. Right. Um, on a lot of places, they're not on the bottom like that. Like even a Eufaula. Perfect example. Yep. He went to Eufaula. And those fish, for some reason, would not trigger on a crankbait. Yeah. I think it was going it's, under them. And it was so yeah. muddy that that crankbait was going, on, it was grinding the bottom underneath them. Right. So, so what he was saying is, like, so you follow that final bait where it, I caught him, smashed him on a spinnerbait. Yeah. On that old big. Yeah. And literally, I made the first two casts of the crankbait. Uh-huh. I cat and don't get a bite. And there's a hundred of them there. I make one cast on the fall with a spinnerbait inside. Doop! But it, you're right. It bridges the gap for that muddy water yeah. between a crankbait and a chatterbait. You can't realize it's a deep. lot slower too. At 100 percent, more vibration. Man, I'm telling you, that sucker's good. There it is, the spinnerbait. Hey, we got way more of these to do. Spinnerbait is a do. broad subject. We'll be back with the Colorados, the Indianas, etc. But for now, y'all stuck with us on the Willows. Appreciate y'all boys watching. Make sure y'all follow my boys, man, Jacob Wheeler. Dusty Connell on YouTube. Y'all check them out. I'll drop the link below to their channels. Y'all have a good time. Good night. We'll catch y'all on the next one. Thanks, guys. See y'all.